What is going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Dyson Sphere program. We are doing some more things, getting some more stuff set up. Now, uh, we were working on oil. We're working on our new factory. However, I want to do... You know what? I want to do something. I want to play with something that we haven't done before. And I want to do it because we just haven't done it. So what we're going to do today is I want to set up the building to launch the EM... The, I want the EM rail ejector. Launch a large amount of solar sails into the orbit of the Dyson Swarm to form a Dyson Swarm. So we need to get these solar sails. Use EM ejector to launch a large number of solar sails to uh, form Dyson Swarm, which can be effectively... Uh, which can effectively attain the radiant energy of stars. Now, I'm a little bit worried about this because it says the life cycle is 1800 seconds. So to me, what that means is that it's only going to work like each sale we make is only going to work for 1800 seconds. So we're going to need to be constantly shooting these things out. Now, if we go over here, we unlocked our Dyson Sphere, turn on the Dyson Sphere editor and make a build plan. So what it looks like is we have the Dyson Swarm and a Dyson Shell. So I think the shell is going to be the more permanent structure. The sail is a uh, temporary structure, if you will. So I want to check that out. Um, but another thing that I'm kind of worried about and like I, I want to check it out, but I also don't want to is that we don't have. Oh, we do have the stuff for the ray receiver. Well, hold on a second. What does it take to make the ray receiver? I forgot we had the actual ray receiver. Uh, we need those, those, those and these and those. OK, <laughs> so ideally, I'd like to set up automation for this and we're going to. But I want to I just want to play with it for now. I want to shoot some out there. I want to see what it does. I want to see what we can expect and then we can get it automated later. But hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and let's head into let's head back to our base and let's see what we need in order to actually get this thing going. I love these drones because they always take the shortest path to this place. It's like I know my shortest path over here is actually this way now. <laughs> it's kind of nice. All right, so this is what area we're at. We're at this area right here. Okay, all right, all right. I'm, I'm kind of, I, I got turned around a little bit. So we have graphene. Um, And we have, let's see, we needed what? Graphene and we need that photon stuff. We need this stuff right here. So it's electronics and the prism gives us the photon dealios and that's made in the assembler. Okay, so let's just set up an assembler right here real quick. Uh, nothing crazy. Mm. Why do I not have an assembly machine? Oh, you know why? It's because they're all in the storage deal uh, right here. Yes, perfect. Okay, so let's grab that. I want to just do this real quick. I want to check it out. I want to see what it is. So we need electronics and the glass. So we have glass prism things being made, I believe, over here. I'm pretty sure this was the machine that was making it. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's go ahead because we need this. All right, but we don't need the exciters right now. So let's go ahead. Let's disable that. Let's set this up to make those and it should automatically start making it. No problemo. All right, so that is set up right there. Now for that, we just need electronics next. We are making electronics over here and I don't think they're being actually utilized for anything. So let's go ahead and just set up a building right in here. And that'll be super easy, super easy automation of this stuff. Uh, should we squeeze it in there? Now nah, we'll just put it over here. We'll get it up out of the way a little bit. We'll throw a storage deal over here. I want you making that and I want these bringing some of this stuff over. Lack of item, what? Oh, that was the wrong conveyor belt. What am I even doing? What do we look like scrubs? We're using Mark twos, not Mark ones. Jeez Louise. All right, so there's the electronics. Let's just go ahead and throw in uh, some of these guys as well. We'll put one there and then there to there. Okay, and then actually, let's just go ahead and set this guy in output to Y. Won't you, uh, too far? What? Okay, fine. You want to be closer? You can be closer. You can be super close. All right, so there's that. Now, let's just grab these prisms and bring those over. This should be super easy as well because it's like a pretty much a straight shot, it looks like. So we'll do that. We'll go up. We'll bring them over here. Like this. 
Uh, why can't I? Oh, because that one's already going up. Oh, let's go underneath. Let's go to here. To there, to there. And then we'll grab you. Boom, boom. Looks good. And then the output of... Oh, this guy, actually. I didn't even need to... There we go. All right. Easy enough. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. So we have that going. Uh, that's going to be that photon-y stuff. That's going to make it stuff. Everything looks good. Wow, that worked out perfectly. All right. Now, this is a temporary setup, like I said. So we need... That photon stuff was four. What were you for? The ray receiver. And is it the solar sails? Yes, the solar sails. Okay. So now, in order to actually make this guy, we need steel gears, microprocessors, and that magnet. That super magnet. So maglev, magnets, and energized deals. Okay. Um, I don't know if we have those maglev motors actually being made over here anymore. Are you actually making these still? I think they are. Yeah, there's there's maglev motors right here. And we can pull those off. And then what else did we need for that? Magnets and energized graphite. Okay, so we have energized graphite right here. We have that machine over there and we have magnets right here. Okay, let's do this. Let's just drop it in right here. Uh, let's pop that in. And then... We're going to go ahead and select that magnetic motor deal. Again, this is just temporary. I'm not, we're not going to be sitting here, but I want to check it out. I want to see what we're going to be dealing with uh, and to see like how, how much we want this thing. Um, Are those, Uh, yes, those are. Those are the circuit boards that I need. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, but I want to make sure we'll just do it to right there. This to there. This to there. And then... All we need to pull are these uh, these these ones, these uh, magnetic turbine motors. I think they're called magnetic turbine motors. I always mess it up. I'm sorry. So I'm going to do something terrible. But again, it's just temporary and I don't care. <laughs> it's just a temporary thing. We're going to bring it all the way over here to there to there here and there. OK. So that's going to be doing an input to there as well. It's going to storage deal storage deals there. Logistics, this guy to th this, and that's making those. I don't want a bunch of those. Let's just go ahead and mark it down to two because it's a temporary deal. And I think that's actually everything. I think I just have to get that going. And then I want to see what this Dyson Swarm actually does. I want to see how much power we're expecting from it uh, and just how it's going to work, I guess. Uh, hold on. Let me redo this. This should be going the other direction. Whoop. And we'll grab this and go, nope, nope, this to there this here that there fantastic and we are good to go okay so we're making the photon stuff i'm running out of power here that's not a good sign there we go and what else do we need now i think we are i think i think we just covered everything we needed to make um let's see oh we need to make the solar sails so let's go ahead and set up a building for solar sails what are solar sails are the photon stuff and graphene okay uh the photon stuff's over there the graphene it's all the way over there wait is this graphene right here what are you oh yes it is oh my gosh graphene's right here i already brought it over here okay uh so let's do this photon stuff graphene let's throw a building right in the middle we're gonna throw it right there we're gonna select you to make these uh we're gonna put a storage deal right there and we're gonna get this hooked up. We're gonna get this rock and roll. Boop. And then let's see, we need to get to pull from here into here, but we need to pull this the photon stuff. Actually, you know what? We're here already. Let's just let's just do it while we're here. So this one needs to go from is that those is that a two layer? I think it's a two level. Okay, so let's do that. Uh let's go ahead and bring it down and into there. So we'll pull from this, pull from that into there. And then let's grab our photon stuff. This one might be a little interesting to get over there. Might we might have to uh, we might have to do some weaving. Oh, too easy, too easy. And bring it down around this way there. Ha 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 ha! Super easy, completely inefficient, and uh, terrible, terrible management of uh, of belts and stuff. But hey, it worked. All right, so let's get all these hooked up. 
and then we gotta get power to that and that's gonna give us the solar sails we need to also turn those down because i don't really want a bunch of them i just kind of want to check them out you know uh let's actually go ahead and turn this down as well to like that we'll grab this into there put it on there fantastic that's gonna bring these over looks good do i have any tesla towers i do indeed put that there put another one there and let's put the output of this thing to like two two stacks at max uh-huh all right uh where's the photon stuff how come it's not over here yet oh it's because it's not powered well it's not gonna work if it doesn't have power right there they go okay photon dealios are coming in we're making some solar sails now we need to make the em rail ejector so i need 10 of those magnets five of the processor so let's see this building where's the magnet building magnet building's over here right yes and you are not outputting any why are you not outputting any what is your deal oh it needs magnets not graphene oh <laughs> hell then uh mm, i disconnected the magnets off of the main line because we are pulling that into our building oh no it could be a small issue possibly no it's not you know why because we will just connect onto this line because we're doing this right now uh we'll figure it out We'll make it work magnets to here and that's gonna pull all the magnets over here let's see i don't want any of these machines running anymore i don't want you guys pulling okay and then magnets need to go over there all right you know what we're gonna do this we're just going to uh we're gonna set up a new line right here uh-huh we're gonna bring it over this way we're gonna go up this way that way this is all kinds of weird and i'm sorry <laughs> but it's working here and then we need to get over you know what we're gonna do this 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 bring it down and call it a day right there get that connected up now this isn't going to run for very long because uh i am not bringing in the resources to make the the basic requirements that we're going to need but again this is just for the purpose of testing okay so i want to go here to there all right so there goes those now we should have magnets being crafted all right there we go perfect okay so the em we need 10 magnets five processors we also need some gears and some steel hold on a second i messed this up what am i bringing in here electronics why am i bringing electronics in here no it's not electronics it's it is oh my gosh you would think that i would have learned okay it's not this that's not going in there okay there we go now it's actually working i was like what is going on here yeah why did i bring electronics I don't know. I was probably getting electronics confused with the... Uh, well, apparently electronics with magnets because I was bringing electronics over, not magnets. Okay, so we have enough to build one of these, I believe. Just one. How big is this building? Like, how big are we talking? Like, in, a, in an EM rail launcher. Sounds like a huge building. Oh my gosh, it is huge. <laughs> it is gigantic uh okay so let's do oh my gosh this thing is massive this thing is massive all right we're gonna put the the em launcher right there what in the heck em rail ejector what you have taken the first step to build the dyson sphere okay now you can use it to send solar sails into space for forming the dyson swarm okay each em rail ejector requires to set up orbit and supply with solar sails. Also, you can use copy and paste to set orbits. If you want a Dyson Swarm orbit become more diversified, 
you can click the Dyson Sphere button in the lower left corner of the screen to open the Dyson Sphere panel. Make your customization however you want. Okay, so each rail can launch into a certain orbit of the Dyson Swarm. Okay. Uh, and then it says 60 kilowatts, 100%. Orbit not set. Choose orbit. Orbit one. Oh my gosh, it moved. Did you see that? <gasps> it's going to probably move. Does this, is this going to like consistently update as it goes? No. Okay. Maybe not. Wait, is it moving? Oh my gosh, it is. It's actually moving to stay in line with the orbit. <gasps> that is super cool. That is super cool. That is super cool. Okay. Uh, the other thing that we need is we need a ray receiver. So I need 25 and then 10 and then some silicon. Okay. All right. So let's grab, I don't, do I have silicon in my inventory? I have silicon. Uh, I have those. We need these motors. And then what else did we need? Hold on. Let's click on this. What am I missing? Uh, just some photon dealios. Ooh, I don't have any extra photon deals right now. Uh, let's just snag a stack out of here. Let's snag those. I don't know how, how many did I need for one of these. 10? I have 12. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, so this is the machine that is going to allow us to pull power from that Dyson Swarm. So let's go ahead and craft one of those. And we're going to set that by the boy down. Oh, I wonder how big that thing is. Oh, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Okay, so uh, ray receiver, power generation. Ray receiver, which can receive the high energy rays transmitted from the Dyson sphere and directly input them to the power grid. Okay. However, caused by the ray receiving efficiency, the ray receiver's requested power will be larger than the documented output power of the Dyson sphere. You okay. can keep it working or upgrade technologies to increase the ray receiving efficiency. Okay, so power generation photon. Under photon generation mode, ray receiver will receive energy with extremely high power and direct store it as photons in critical state. What? Gravitational lens, a piece of uh, neutron star material that has been encapsulated after processing. It's twisted and powerful gravitational field is shielded in a container. So, but some can expect it to use refract the sunlight and ignite fire. What the heck? Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Look at, do you see the bro? It rotated. That's super cool. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, so if we have it as a photon, if we have it as a photon generation, which we can't do yet. That's gonna give us uh, that photon of critical state, so we'd have to have an output on it. So we need to set up an input of this to launch solar sails to orbit and to see how much power we get from it. Okay, so we have 200. Let's grab the 68. I wanna see, oh my gosh. I am so excited to launch these things. Now, can I put them in there to just launch them? So if I just drag these in here, Okay. So what's your deal? Okay, it has 20. It was a max of 20. 20 per minute solar sails in total. Pitch limit. Oh, it has to wait until it is within. Oh, it can't launch them right now because we're waiting for the, the pitch. <gasps> Target pitch angle. Oh my gosh, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. This is so exciting. I wanna see this thing go choo choo! I wanna see it shoot the NASA swarm! Oh, this is super cool. Come on, buddy, come on. I'm waiting, I'm ready. All right, so my, uh, hold on, let's, let's actually look at this. Let's look at power. So my generating capacity is 38.4. Let's see what it is once we launch some solar sails. And, uh, oh, buddy, I'm so excited for this. Come on, come on, come on. Seven degrees, six degrees, five degrees, four. Oh, it's about to launch. Come on, do it, launch him. It's gonna shoot this thing, that's fine. <gasps> Here it goes, pitching up. 
Come on, baby. Launch him. Oh, target acquired. Turn blue. Whoa! What? That is epic. Look at it. You can see it like, ching. No way. It's almost like you can see each solar sail. You see that? Are we getting any power from this? Yeah, we're getting 75 kilowatts right now. Okay, so uh, we're getting 214 kilowatts. Uh, let's see what our power is now. 38.9. And how many did you launch? It launched all of them. It launched all of them. Now, is there a way for me? Let's look at, if we go to the swarm, show orbits, this one, activate it. Oh, you can see them right here. There's our solar sails. Activated solar sail in total. 20 generating capacity 600 or 716. So you can see these are the sails we just launched. That is amazing. Okay, well, let's refill it. Charging. We can keep launching. This is charging. Oh, we're at pitch limit right now. Okay. So we're gonna have to wait till it probably gets down lower again. Oh, that is epic. That is so cool. So we're getting 214. Now it says 716, but we can't, uh, we can't wait. Okay. Requested power. Requested power. And that's max. Dyson sphere status is 716 kilowatts. Show the current total requested power and total power generation performance of the Dyson Sphere. So it's asking for more just so we can get as much as we can. Okay, strength is 100%. Oh my gosh. We started a Dyson Sphere. Now, can I see it from the star map too or no? Can we see any? <gasps> yes, you actually can. You can actually see them all right here. There's our little solar sail. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. It's the it's the little things in life. So I can't remember. I can't remember how much. Oh oh oh, we're launching again. We're launching. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. How much is it launching per deal? 15? 14? Okay, it's launching one at a time. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill it up again. Let's give you more. Just keep going, bud. Just keep going. So we will be filling these or we'll be putting these in there in order to get more power. Uh, and as you see, we're just getting more and more power. 600, 419 kilowatts. Let's see. What is that putting us for? 39.1. Were we at 38 point something before? I think we were at 38.5, right? So it is going to take quite a few of these. And if they only have an 1800 light, 1800 second lifestyle life cycle, uh, that's going to be a little rough. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be rough. 1800 seconds. Like that's, I mean, that's not, yeah, that's not a lot. <laughs> so we're going to have to be making a lot of these things. Let's go ahead and throw those in there. And then let's go into our Dyson sphere thing. So this one, so we have 52 sales 53 in orbit oh look at that you can see some over here you can see some over here so essentially what we can do is we can keep launching them until this one's kind of full then we can set a new orbit that is epic all right so now what i want to do is i kind of want so we're generating 2.07 megawatts um so comparatively to what we're making on the planet not great but once we get making more of these it's gonna be good now, I'm a little bit worried. I am still a little bit worried about the 1800 second lifespan because that means, I mean, I guess that means one lasts 30 minutes. So one lasts 30 minutes, um, which is, did I do that right? One lasts 30 minutes, yeah. So each sail lasts 30 minutes in orbit. So we need to make sure that we're generating at least one every 30 minutes. <laughs> I, okay, all right, that's that's not so bad. Uh, it would be kind of nice if they just lasted forever, but I get I get why they don't. 
That would probably, that would be, su <laughs> that'd be super OP. How many do I have in here? So I have another 400 in here. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is so cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, uh, I'm just going to let it shoot the rest of these, but I'm not going to keep up with them right now because we're not doing the stuff. We're not making the things to keep up with this right now uh, because we got another factory to work on. So we are going to start looking into that. I just, I really wanted to check this out. And then this is just a constant power. That's amazing. So another, the next research thing that I think, I wonder if there's actually an upgrade. Planetary ionosphere utilization. Wait, allow ray receiver to consume gravitational lens to increase its maximum power output. Um, I wonder, vertical launching silo, what? Small carrier, the delivery vehicle of a Dyson sphere components. If you want to speed up the construction, you need to send more rockets. Dyson sphere stress system. Dyson sphere node latitude limit plus 15 degrees. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But I wanted to see what we need. Mini fusion generator. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. We need to get into that too. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I, I don't know. I'm a little, uh, I'm kind of confuzzled right now because like we can do this, but how come this was easier to unlock than like fusion power? Like you would think that this, w that we would want this to be our main power source. Unless there's, maybe there's an upgrade for, maybe there's some kind of upgrade for the, for the Dyson sales things. You know, or maybe these are just supposed to be like a temporary thing to help with, help with power, but not be the end all be all for power. Because I mean, mini fusion power generator, I, and like a, Der a Deridian fuel rod. Like, I feel like, I feel like that's going to be a huge power source. Power can make a nine megawatt. Well, okay. I guess the Dyson sphere is, is making pretty good power right now. It's making 2.14, uh, but it's temporary. Interesting. Oh my gosh. So many exciting things happening. So many exciting things. All right. So we're back over here and I want to mess with this a little bit more. Um, I was kind of thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what we need to do is what we need actually need to do with these is we need to set up storages for these items uh, and then store them and then bring them out to wherever they need to go. So we're going to be uh, setting this as plasma refining because that's going to give us uh, oil and hydrogen. Now, hydrogen, is that, can I store that into a storage or is that going to be, oh, wow. It doesn't even like, it doesn't even show that I'm capable of making that. Is that, cause that's a, are, are we going to store that in a fluid, like a storage tank? I don't know if we're going to be storing that in a storage tank or not. Because I know the oil will be. Hmm. So we might actually need fluid. I think it's a larger capacity than for storing fluid. Dismantling a non-empty storage tank will uh, lose any remaining fluid. Hmm. So I wonder if hydrogen will go in there. I don't know. So I'm going to set up a couple of these tanks over here. And luckily we can stack them. Now, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if the uh, the hydrogen can be stored like this or not. Wow, this can go up to four. Jeez Louise, that's nice. I don't know if the hydrogen can go in here or not. And if it can't, we can throw regular storages in there. That's not a problem. Uh, but that's gonna give us our, uh, the oil and the hydrogen is gonna go into those. So what I wanna do is I actually kinda wanna work backwards a little bit here. I want to get this into there and then i want to do the same thing with this one into here and then we're going to pull those two lines over just like that so one of those is going to be fuel one is going to be hydrogen and again if the hydrogen doesn't work in here then we will throw regular storages in there but then that's going to give us the outputs to go if we want to go over here for that if we want to go you know what i mean we can take those wherever we want and then we can always add more machines in here so we can up our productions as well. Actually, let's just go ahead and let's bring this all the way over here for the sake of keeping things relatively symmetrical. Awesome. And then what do I need? I need oil refineries. Let's go grab our oil refineries. I should have a bunch of those in storage over here as well. Oh my gosh, look at this. You can see, you can see the sails. You can see the sails. We have 68 in orbit. You can see them right there. Look at how cool. Oh my gosh. 
I can't even imagine what this is going to look like when I have a ton of things over there. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Okay, did I not make... It doesn't look like I actually made the extractors. I must have just made the refineries. So we need to get a bunch of extractors going. Uh, I can make four. I need more electronics. All right, that's probably all the extractors I'm going to need for now. That might be all the extractors we need, period. This thing is so cool. I got to say this, this whole Dyson Sphere thing. Mm, I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start placing down some oil extractor. You know what? <laughs> okay, I was looking in the wrong place. Uh, let's go ahead and place these down. We got a bunch over here. And we're going to tie all of these essentially into uh, our one one massive production area. When being outside of building range, oh. you can hold down the shift key and use the right mouse button to click on the open space to control the mecha to move. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Wasn't super worried. I think that's all of them over here. We got another one way back here. We got a whole bunch more. Okay, so we'll just roll with these ones for now. And essentially what we need to do is we just need to get one main line connected in over here. So let's bring that main line over. So let's see, it's going to be this further line right here. So sometimes we get these little spots like this and I really don't like that, but I can't make them any better. I've tried moving these over here and then they just kind of like bend again, like really weird. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, and then we're just going to connect up all these to over here. Let's see. We've only got one over here, so we can grab this guy, bring you out and over. Those will connect up there. Perfect. We'll bring this one pretty much straight forward, probably directly onto this. And we'll bring this one up over here, probably into like right here. And I'm hoping that this one line is going to be fast enough. If not, we can always upgrade it later because we do have conveyor belt mark threes. I just haven't made any yet. So this is going to uh, to give us that that first batch of oil stuff, I guess. Oh, we have this guy right here too. Uh, let's go ahead and get that guy hooked up. And just like that, I'm about out of belts again. <laughs> we'll have to go get some more. All right, all the belts are hooked up. Looking good, looking good. Uh, let's see, I have a bunch of sorters. We're gonna need that. Let's go ahead and get the sorter set up. Let's just get this, uh, let's get this oil up and running. So we can start, uh, we can start ga gathering it. Okay, so uh, we are going to do let me just do this. Fuel. I'm just going to do these ones first. So that way they're done with. And then we're going to do the hydrogen on these. And then the input on all of these. Now, what's nice about this is that we can actually set up refineries on the other side. And basically we just offset them by one and then we can pull from here place under this belt and place under this belt so that gives us we can fill this entire belt up uh with with refiners on this side too so that's gonna be like super nice as well these we gotta select a uh, recipe so we're gonna select that obviously and then we're just gonna go ahead and copy and paste those all in there like that now you can't do the copy and paste with the conveyor belts for some reason i don't know i i tried it and it, it just didn't seem to work so um, all right, let's get some power over here and uh, let's get this rocking and rolling now Like I said, I don't know if that's gonna work, but hey, we'll find out, you know All right, so that should be Oil coming in at a quick rate Very quick rate. Let's go ahead and let's check this out. Yep. Oh, these need plugged in too. shoot Can I sneak these in here? I guess I can All right, there goes all those. How fast is that oil coming in? Is it coming in like max speed? Almost. Uh, we gotta wait for all the belts to get primed. And that should be our oil generation, a fairly good amount. Now, what I can do also is we can put up a tower over here, demand oil, and go and set up uh, little oil deals going into other towers along with you know other resources or whatever. We can have drones bringing oil into this main line right here as well and like that look at that our oil's already full it's already backed up that means we could definitely handle uh 
handle handle more of these machines okay now is the hydrogen going into this thing or no oh it is nice oh that is so nice that is gonna be so nice okay awesome so we have hydrogen being made um well there's no capacity on that one we have hydrogen and we have what is this called what is that actually is that oil what are you this is crude oil is that refined oil maybe i don't know so we've got those going that is fantastic and then from there we can pull we can do more resources do more things uh because we have other options like these guys right here we have this x-ray cracking which we can turn the hydrogen and oil into energized graphite and more hydrogen which is handy but then there's other resources that we're going to need as well uh to include plastic which needs energized graphite and two oil so if i'm not mistaken i think because we're gonna if if we do this process here we are going to gain energized graphite and three hydrogen but we're gonna have one oil left over and then if we select the plastic making we need one graphite and two oil so that process of turning it into graphite gives us one extra oil but we need two machines so it's gonna give us two extra oil for one graphite so then that would be that would be like essentially the equivalent to make this right here with the excess i think i don't know i don't know the, the, the guaranteed logistics but i'm gonna tell you right now this is working great it feels good i'm loving it and i am so excited that we got some dyson dyson sales going oh that's so cool how did that one get so far out of there that's crazy oh but it looks so good it looks so good but that's gonna end this episode thank you so much for coming out Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Next episode, uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit more stuff done. I might try to do some stuff. No, I'm not going to do anything off camera. That's no fun. There's no fun in that, right? Exactly. Um, you know, I probably should put... Uh, we should put some buffers on here. I should put some storage tanks right in here. Of course, I don't have any, though. Uh, can I make more storage tanks? Yeah, I can make seven more. Let's make a uh, let's make a buffer thing right here. That way, these will actually like continually fill up something, as opposed to not filling up something at all. You know what I mean? Let's just let's break that. Let's throw those in here real quick. And uh, but yes, we are gonna end our episode there. But thank you so much again for coming out. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And again, if you want to check out the the game, I do have the link down below. And as always, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.